Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my second video and uh, today I'm going to talk about the second book that I read from uh, Lori Lee, which is um, A Moment of War. So A Moment of War is the sequel to As I Walked Out One Midsummer Morning, which I reviewed in my first video. Um, this second book came about... Um, roughly 40 years uh, after the first one um, and there's a number of reasons for that and uh, I really encourage you to read more about Lori Lee's life. It really seems to have been a very interesting uh, uh, man. Um, so the second book talks about uh, Lori Lee's return to Spain. Uh, it's a travelogue, um, much like the first one, but Lori Lee's style makes it um, a bit more like um, recounting events with a nice rhythm rather than um, a lyrical description of people and places um, such as um, um, Lawrence Darrell's books or uh, D.H. Lawrence's uh, travels books. So, uh, yeah, so it's very nice to read. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens in the in the book, but it's a short one. It's about 180 pages, if I'm not wrong. Um, it recounts actually a very brief experience. The second time that Lori Lee went to Spain, uh, he went to Spain to, uh, to join the um, uh, Republican uh, side, um, if you read more about the Spanish Civil War between, I believe, 1936 and 1939, um, there were two sides. Uh, uh, there was the uh, Nationalist Army, um, led by Francisco Franco, who eventually won. Um, and then there was the Republican side, um, who was at the time led by the Spanish government so actually the national the nationalist side was a it was born like more like a rebellion movement in morocco uh, and supporting the um the republican side was the international brigade which was made up of a number of uh, international international individuals who wanted to fight for the republican side um and what Lori Lee says in the book uh, very much depicts what was happening in the war. It was basically the rich against the poor. The nationalists were the rich. They were supported by uh, Nazi Germany, uh, fascist Italy, uh, by uh, Salazar for, from Portugal. Um, and, and there was... Um, and on the other side, the poor were just... Uh, you know, very badly equipped, very poorly managed, which seems to have been the reason why they lost in the first place. Um, and and so and that's the story. That's the story of how uh, the Spanish Civil War went, more or less, with a final battle in Teruel. Teruel is a place where Lorelei travels to. Uh, a number of uh, very um, uh, um, I interesting uh, things happen uh, to him along the way. Um, and most notably, he is apprehended three times. So imagine imagine a guy who wants to join one of the two sides, and as soon as he crosses into Spain, he's actually apprehended by uh, friends of the Republicans who don't believe he is uh, on their side. So they're, they, they're suspicious that this guy might... Uh, you know, might be up to, to, to something else. Uh, he might have a second um, objective, uh, not just to join the Republican army and fight on their side. And, you know, the book tells about the, um, the atmosphere and the uh, approach that the Republicans had with respect to, um, um, you know, people who seem to be dodgy. Um, and they were shot. So they couldn't take any risk, uh, and instead of risking having someone who might have been on your side and risking that, you know, this guy is actually on the other side, they preferred to shoot them. And this is what actually Lori Lee really risked. I'm not going to say any more about what happens in the book, but essentially, this, this all happens because before the Civil War, 
Laurie Lee went to Spain in 1936 and he traveled all the way down to Morocco to a few places where actually the nationalist uh, campaign um, took off. Uh, and by looking at the stamps on his passports, um, the, uh, the the Republicans realized, well, this guy, come, you know, this guy's been to a number of dodgy places and we cannot afford to trust uh, people who are suspicious, and and this is the reason why he got arrested three times. Um, it's a nice, interesting um, um, sequel to the first book. Um, it was really easy for me to read it. I took th it took me three days to read it. Like I said, 180, 178 pages. They were really fluid, smooth. Uh, not too many descriptions. Um, but the rhythm was really nice. You had that nice rhythm of events. Um, that you know, I, I'm the type of a reader who gets distracted by excessive descriptions, and this is what's happening to me with D. H. Lawrence, for example. When I see a lot of descriptions, my mind just uh, starts roaming around, and I lose uh, focus, and that's just me. But if you're the type of guy who likes if you feel the type of reader who likes uh, descriptions, well, there's a few, there's a few in there as well. But on the whole, Laurie Lee manages to capture the atmosphere and the sentiment that goes through the entire book and conveys uh, um, what it was like to actually have been part of the civil war in Spain. Um, uh, th there's also a very interesting uh, aspect uh that's actually relating to my um, anticipation for this book. So as soon as I finished reading the first one, I was really eager to get into this one. I couldn't actually wait. I ordered this book, and like I always do, this is a secondhand, sometimes a third-hand book, so very cheap. I don't care. It doesn't have to be new. Uh, um, I don't need a new book for the story, for the recount to be new to me. I'm perfectly happy with um, yellowish books. I had to wait a few weeks, but I expected, to be honest, I expected a lot more. So Lori Lee's role in the Spanish Civil War is is a marginal one. Um, he, you know, he engages in the battle like almost everyone in the International Brigade, but because of his adventures because of his um, um, endeavors, uh, he ends up not being at the center of attention, much like he thought he would have been. So, uh, basically misses action, he misses the war altogether. Yes, he goes to Teruel, but, you know, he reaches Teruel where things have pretty much already happened, and I encourage you to go on and read about what happened in Teruel. Uh, I believe it was the final uh, decisive battle in 1939. Uh, and so if you approach this book from the point of view of, you know, wanting to, to see a lot of action, that's not what happens in the book. The book is not about action. Uh, the book is about someone who observes action, but he's caught in the midst of a number of uh, side stories, side situations, which eventually prevent him from being uh, on center stage. That is, uh, and so this is this is my um, my opinion about this book. It's the third installment of a trilogy, which began with Cider with Rosie. I'm not really interested in reading that one. It talks about uh, Lori Lisa bringing in the Cotswolds, uh, but. Uh, you know, the, these two books about Spain and the Spanish Civil War are really what made me want to read um, Laurie Lee. Uh, and so, like I said, if you're into travelogues, uh, if you're into um, history books, this is actually a mixture of both. I really encourage you to do so. And like I said, you know, uh, the content of a book is much more important than... Um, then you know, the status of the book itself is in you as long as it doesn't have ripped off pages as long as it doesn't have uh you know uh, missing corners uh or burnt pages sometimes that happens too it's perfectly fine to be read so i encourage you to do the same and save money 
uh, so that you can enjoy more and more books so that uh, um, your reading experience continues. And this said, thank you very much. And I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye.